So a stranded wire is a whole bunch of little wires put together in here. You can also call this a cable. You can see it a lot better with this magnifying loop. My camera won't uh, focus well if I zoomed in any farther. Here's a jumper I made for the breadboard. Its uh, purpose is to connect the positive from one power rail to the positive of the other so that if I power one rail the other one also has power. Now this is a solid wire. So here you should be able to see this is just one wire and the nice thing about these solid wires is they fit right into the breadboard slots really easy whereas the stranded wires when you insert them into the breadboard slots they tend to get pushed apart and uh, they may not even go into a slot if they get pushed out far enough or they get bunched up and they might knot up or something. So the solid piece of wire I showed you came off of this spool. I made that, I used a tool like this, I used the scissors part to cut the wire and then where the slot is here I wiggled the insulation off of the ends. Then I had bare wire to plug in to the breadboard. Now the breaded wire though I showed you belongs to this 9 volt battery snap. And this is the main reason I started making this video. The stranded wire on the ends of the snap was getting really annoying. They were, they were bunched up and stuff. There wasn't much I could do with them anymore. So again, I used the cool tool to cut off the bad part. Then I had all plastic to the end. So I used this tool to wiggle off the plastic. And now I have bare wire. Now I didn't really need to go through this effort. I do have these extra ones. I recommend if you're going to use a 9 volt battery with battery snaps, get a lot of battery snaps because as far as I can tell, uh, all of them, unless they come with the plug that goes into something else completely, all of them come with this stranded wire. But the new ones, they tend to kind of stick them together so they should last a while before they separate. But if you need to salvage a wire for whatever reason, you only have one battery snap or whatnot. As I said, I cut off the end and then I expose the wire. And now I want to try to get the wires close to each other by twisting it. But I find it's best to also take a needle nose plier and really give them a good twist so they're tightly together. But you want to make sure they also uh, stick together too. You want to make sure they stay as uh, thin as possible. You don't want them to bunch up or anything or cause a knot. You want to try to look and try to make it look as much like a solid wire as possible. Otherwise it will split apart when you put it in the breadboard. And now this wire slips easily into the breadboard and I can feel it has a decent connection. These wires are also a little thin. That's another problem. So now the main plus for stranded wire is it, it's more flexible. All that wire wrapped together bends a lot easier. Whereas a solid piece of metal, every time you bend it, it really weakens the metal. These I keep the same. And so when you unspool this and use this solid wire, you want it in a really permanent spot. Whereas when you got a lot of movement, like pulling the battery snap on and off, having this flexibility really helps.